we would move forward to your Miss Universe Philippines journey na. And I will be flashing two of the first photos that we saw of you during your Miss Universe Philippines journey. And this was the iconic one. I, I, I really remember you with this pink dress. Yes. And uh, this was taken by Mrs. Ology's photo photographer, Bong Tan. And I remember he mentioned before na ikaw yung first candidate na na-meet niya. First Miss Universe Philippines 2020 candidate na na-meet at na-picturean niya during the screenings. And uh, he, post he posted this photo when you won. And sabi niya na, the first candidate that I met is the yeah. Universe Philippines. And the, the next one naman is uh, your photo during the um, runway challenge. The runway challenge. And I remember in one of your interviews, you mentioned that before ka naglaka dito, you were crying. So can yes. you tell us the story? Yeah. So let's go with the pink dress first. That was yes. the final screening, I think. And ganun talaga ako, baby. Because nobody like told me na Oh, baka may mga medias doon, ganito, ganyan. Like, I have no idea. Tapos nagugulat ako na, oh, there's a lot of people outside, you know, trying to interview you, trying to take photos of you. And I was kind of overwhelmed with that feeling. And I think this was the first photo then that went viral because I was a fresh face. Yes. And with the um, black one during the runway challenge, I was crying because hindi dapat ito yung dress na susuotin ko. And mm -hmm. during the headshot, we had headshot before the runway challenge. I was the last girl who finished, who had my my chance. So during that moment, I, we were panicking na because um mag runway challenge na nakalain na sila din lahat. They know the uh, the formula, where to pose, yung kung gano kahaba. And then I have no idea. And then sinabi sa akin, um, Miss, bawal yung damit mo. It's because there's this white accent. It should be all black. And pinapalit ako ng damit na hindi sa akin. And I didn't even know how it looks like on me. So I was crying. And I was like, I was saying na, na, baka mabasa ko. Gawa ka na. I was scared. <laughs> I don't know. Then, it's funny because yung nasa likod ko, si Ilikila province, she was saying na, hindi, the, the dress looks good on you. Malaki yung pet mo dyan, sabi niya. <laughs> And then we were like walking, papunta na dun sa area, and everybody was, oh, go, go, guys. And I was like, hi. <laughs> 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 they were like crying, right? <laughs> at, at the me pero, mention, yep, go, go, we're here. Pero, game face on. No, it's my chance. Wala nang isip isip, lahat ng negative thoughts, tatapon mo na, because you really need to do well in that challenge. So, kahit gabi hiya ka pagdating sa photo, hindi halata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mentioned ko lang, uh, the first time I saw all the candidates of Miss Universe Philippines was during this uh, runway challenge. And I remember telling my friends and some members of the Missology Core team that there's something about this Miss Iloilo. I said, all of the girls that are in the there's something about Miss Iloilo. I said, ah, I'm fresh. I said, I'm going to go to the house. Ayun na. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because, uh, actually, hindi, hindi naman sa nag-ayon ako ha, pero ano, there's something about you, hindi ko alam na umiyak ka pala before you you walk, there's something about you that struck me the most. And talagang ikaw yung naalala ko during that runway challenge. Uh, Nakwento yun sa akin ni Drew actually. Oo. Nakwento niya sa akin after nung nag uh, runway challenge kayo. He was, she was like, as she's mentioning, he's mentioning na this Miss Iloilo is parang kakaiba siya and something new. Kasi we're looking for something na parang fresh into pageant. And ikaw, yun, ikaw yung nakita namin yun. Aw, thank you so much, guys. And for those of you who don't know, malaki talagang tiwala sa akin na Miss Southern Lugie kasi nilagay nila ako sa number one spot nila. <laughs> yes, yes. Sabi ko, sabi ko hindi natin i-mention yun dito eh. Yeah, <laughs> Pero dahil, nabang, dahil nabanggit mo na, so i-discuss na rin natin. So you always said na you never felt that you were a front runner in the competition. So what did you feel when you saw na on the third half of Missology, you were actually number one? I know this prediction list is not everything, but during that time, it gave me the confidence that maraming tao pala yung nakakakita ng potential ko. And it gave me a different energy in Baguio. I remember that. And when I shared it, yung mga taga-ilo-ilo, like they were starting to share it also. 
sa kanila mga pages. Yes. And, I, and I told na, I feel, I feel na I was creating my momentum during that time. Kasi you only need to have that one person who believes that you can do it. And you will have the power to do so. So thank you so much, Mrs. Ology, for believing in me. Of course. When I was still a dark horse, you considered me to be a front runner. Salamat talaga. Mm-hmm. And we Kaya are so ano, happy. Kapag may mga nagsasabi na dark horse ka, ako pa yung naglalaban. Kasi hindi front runner yun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oo. Talagang si Drew. Udo ako feeling ko, si feeling ko kasi. Yan, front runner yan, hindi yan siya. Yeah. Ano. <laughs> feeling ko kasi, uh, nag-iba lang kasi yung tingin siguro mo as a candidate because yung, yung mga activities nyo nangyayari, pero late namin silang nakikita because it was delayed na na-air, na-broadcast online. So, siguro, ano, kami na nakakakita, pero nafe-feel namin na there's something about this girl na bumubuo na yung momento mo. Pero ikaw, iba yung nakikita mo doon. Kasi parang naka-lockdown kayo. Yep. And now, related, in relation to Miss Universe Philippines, at what point in the competition, in your whole Miss Universe team, na feel mo na you actually have a shot at winning? I never claimed na ako na talaga, I'm gonna be the next Miss Universe during that span. I would always tell that, I, was all, I would always tell that in the interviews that I wanted to win. Pero I feel like the turning point was right after our closed door interview. Mm-hmm. Because... Yes. It's funny pa because right after that, um, I called my friend and I told her na I feel like I didn't um do well in the interview because I really have this high standard when it comes to interviews like that. And during that moment, I feel like I just showed my personality. I was being true to myself, but I expected more from myself, and I wasn't able to execute that. But when it was all out, everybody started noticing. They started to um, cut, you know, yung mga phrases na sinasabi ko yes. and put it in a photo. And I felt like, okay, I- I'm making an impact. I'm making an impression to them. And that is an important aspect when you are a candidate. Mm-hmm. Because you're, you're just there. Um, but there's this battle that is happening in your mind, in yourself. So you you really need to pull off and do something in which other people can notice you. It's all about that. And I was able to speak at the right moment. I was able to show my personality during the closed door interview. And people appreciated yeah. me. The judges appreciated me. And maybe it has something to do then with what I'm I am wearing during that time. I was wearing like a white suit and I really feel yeah. powerful. In, in that mm-hmm. suit. So it showed to people. Yeah. So, yeah. Talagang, tuma- talagang tumatak sa mga tao yung red is power in I yeah, am. Red is power. Yes. <laughs> As in, yun yung, yun yung pinakakinap talaga. Uh-oh. At nag-viral yeah. yung mention mo. And okay. I remember, ang, ang ganda nung suot mo nun, di ba? Pero the people were were commenting na, bakit walang picture si Miss, Mat- si Miss Iloilo? <laughs> so, and then after a, after a few days, you know, the lip young dress and yes. the yeah. I know. All, all I thanks know. to uh, your friend. And Mr. I was Johnson, really right? feeling bad during that time because I didn't get the chance to take an OOTD because in the first place, my phone has this low quality of camera. So, sabi ko, if mago OOTD ako, I'm gonna be bashed because people would always expect HD na you know, cameras, photos from you. And during that time, I cannot provide that. And I felt mm-hmm. bad. I felt bad. I felt like um, uh, I, I cheated myself. But God has a reason, di ba? And during that time, nasira pa yung phone ko. So nakiusap talaga ako dun sa one of my friends, si Miss Jensen, Mariel Joy, to take a photo of me. So what I did, like, ayos ulit ako and I wore that, and she nag take ng photo sa akin. At yun yung nalabas ko. Just to thank the designer who really actually did well and had helped me in, you know, in that outfit. It's also giving credits to them. Pero ang dami kong pinagdaanan before ko ma-post yung photo. So yun yung mga things na hindi minsan ako consider ng fans. They would yes. expect always the best without knowing the real battle that is happening beyond social media. 
Understand. So you you mentioned na ano, marami kang pinagdaanan at the, at that time. What was the biggest challenge for you while you were all in Baguio? The biggest challenge, well, aside from my phone na nasira, maybe it's trying to do my own hair and makeup. I, I can, mm-hmm. like, I have here a scar. Hindi ko alam if you can still see it here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yan. What happened was that? Ilang beses ko napapaso yung sarili ko. Mm-hmm. And nagsakar talaga siya. And may mga moments that I get frustrated because when I was practicing, I would do seven hours hair and makeup. And how can you like do that in a span of 45 to one hour, 45 minutes to one hour? So it was the pressure of waking up early, trying to fix yourself. Hindi ka pa nga, hindi pa nga natutulog yung, yung spirit mo. Kailangan mo na ulit to meet. But that is the part of, you know, the competition. It is a test of character than sale. So these are the things that I really treasure kasi dun talaga ako sinubo at dun ako pinatasar. It's really an experience that I would always keep in my heart. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I have also a question uh, as regards to your winning moment. Okay, the winning moment, something that beauty queens like you will always remember for the rest of their lives. However, you have a quite a different winning moment since the show was taped uh, with different uh, winning scenarios. Take us back um, to that actual moment when you finally believe that you actually won. What was running through your mind during that time? It's 